soir selon le monde à laquelle vous êtes en train de nous suivre maintenant. Aujourd'hui nous sommes ici euh, à Cor en Corée du Sud, précisément à Seoul, dans un pays très bien équipé, merveilleux, d'un responsable, d'un des droits de l'homme, d'un activiste de droits de l'homme, Pinan, le nom de l'endroit où nous sommes aujourd'hui pour parler plusieurs choses. Découvrir la personne, découvrir l'ONG et découvrir le travail et les projets qu'ils ont pour l'avenir des étrangers vivant dans ces pays. Bonjour, Mr. Abraham. Bonjour, tu m'appelles Abraham. Merci beaucoup. Nous sommes ici aujourd'hui pour avoir une interview avec vous. Et s'il vous plaît, pouvez-vous vous introduire à The people who will watch this video to know who you are. Mm. Uh, my name is Abraham Lee, and the executive director of the Refugee Pinan, a refugee aiding organization in Korea. Uh, there are around 6,000 asylum seekers in South Korea. We are helping asylum seekers to get refugee status and to live their livelihood in Korea and support them to find their vision and to fulfill it. And how, now, what can we say? Are you an activist or a human rights defender? Oh, I'm sorry, I cannot distinguish you of the activist and human rights defender. I myself identify myself as an activist I'm not only the officer, I'm the activist, and also I'm working to defend human rights of the refugees and asylum seekers. I'm both. Uh, okay, and I want to know more. I want to yeah. know more. Uh, can you please tell us why did you establish Pinan NGO? Is it because you saw the struggling of uh, foreign or immigrant workers in Korea? or because you saw the struggling of some seeker refugees and so on or because of your faith as a christian yeah. i started my activity uh, to help migrant workers in south korea uh, from 1994 uh, just after uh, the seoul olympic held in 1988 because after seoul olympic many uh, foreigners uh, rushed into South Korea and stayed here as an illegal worker and their human rights situation was terrible because they are staying here illegally so they cannot be protected by labor law. Mm -hmm. So uh, I started my activity and uh, among them Ethnic Korean Chinese was around 40 percentage to help them. I went to uh, China, I visited China, and when I visited China, I happened to meet North Korean refugees there. So that was my first experience to help North, uh, the refugees, uh, our ethnic Korean uh, in China. Koreans in, mm. in uh, North, Korea. uh, North Koreans. Mm. So after I finished it or while I was doing my activity to help North Korean refugees, I start to meet the foreign migrant refugees in South Korea uh, from uh, 2000. So that's my uh, starting point to, to help refugees. Uh, the motivation was on one part uh, to protect them, uh, protect their human rights. And also because I'm Christian, even I try to help them, my resource is very limited. Yes, very limited. Yes, of course, so yes. uh, if I don't get any uh, provision or supply, I cannot support them. So, uh, as a Christian, uh, I want to help them with God's help. Thank you, sir. Mm. 
Um, another question is, how have you got to, to be in contact with uh, African in Korea? Uh, the first African you met, was it uh, diplomat or workers or refugees? And what was your impression when you met them? Yeah. So I, uh, the first time met uh, African here in Korea, uh, the first group was Congolese. Eh? Congolese. Uh, they were uh, Christian. They were uh, students. They have been. <coughs> uh, they were politicians. They were youth. Various kind of background uh, they are from. But in Korea, because they are not fully supported, protected. Uh, they have to survive themselves as a illegal migrant worker. Eh? Mm -hmm. So when I first met them, uh, they were a kind of migrant illegal workers in yeah. Korea. But they are very intelligent and they are very active. They are very joyful and they are dreaming for the future. So. Uh, the first impression to the refugees, uh, Congolese refugees, uh, is, uh, is oh, they are the person of energy, they are person of youth, uh, they are person of uh, dream and future. I'm very, I, I was very much impressed and touched it. Okay. Uh, we, we keep going with our questions because it's very important to get those information from you. We know that you, you know well about Africans, especially these days. Uh, did Mr. Abram used to work together with Africans? Yes, I have once worked with uh, uh, African, one Congolese. Uh, I give the position as a, a position of the staff in our organization. Yeah. Uh, he have worked here for one year as a campaigner or advocate or uh, the staff hmm? yeah. uh, or lecturer uh, who can do the, the lecture uh, on our refugee school, in our refugee school. Uh, but some complaint came to me. Uh, so maybe they worried uh, about their case, if he is working in our organization, maybe he can influence his asylum case. So he, they, some somebody worried about the, his presence in uh, our organization. So uh, I negotiated uh, to quit uh, to give him the position, but it was very impressive and uh, interesting uh, ch chance to me. Uh, to work with the uh, for African uh, refugee background foreigners, uh, and also I'm closely working with community leaders uh, each African countries, uh, but not as a step. As a guy, a guide for the refugee uh, applicant in Korea, how can you express your feeling about the system of recognition? of a refugee status in South Korea for refugees? Uh, <clears throat> there are around 6,000 asylum seekers, mm -hmm. refugee applicants in South Korea, and yeah. among them, uh, around 400 mm -hmm. uh, were recognized as refugee, and others are still in the process. Uh? Mm -hmm. uh, so recognition rate is around 11 mm percentage, -hmm. and some other uh, seven or eight percentage are protected as humanitarian uh, status mm. uh, with humanitarian status. Mm. So, totally around uh, uh, 18 percentage people are protected as refugee or uh, humanitarian uh, with humanitarian status. So, this is not quite uh, low, but uh, still low. Huh? The, uh, refugee protection rate in Korea is comparatively low. Huh? We have to do more. Uh, and uh, 
except that Korean people they are not so much multiculturalized. Yes. They are not so acceptive and so open minded Mind. to Foreign. foreigners and especially to Africans. Eh? Yes. Uh, so that's the problem. We have to experience more uh, to live together with uh, foreigners and especially with Africans. Uh, I think mm. job mentor program is very important for that. Of course. Yes, I think so. And I want to ask another question. In your office, you have many cases. Yeah. You have the case for those who are applying for refugees. Mm. You have the case for those who are in court now, wearing the judgment. And you have also some cases of those who lost in the immigration systems and those who lost also in the court. What kind of hope can you tell to those three steps yeah. of cases? Yes. Once asylum seeker apply uh, re the refugee application, yes. uh, uh, it takes around uh, six months or one year uh, to get the decision. Uh, if they are rejected, they, they can appeal to a minister of justice uh, and the appeal process also it took around one year again and if they are rejected again they can go to the court uh, in the court they have three uh, stages of uh, litigation the first one is administrative administrative court the district court yeah. the first court second court is high court the third court is supreme court so all the stages five steps eh, refugee cases are reviewed eh? uh, it takes around five years eh? it's very long time it takes very long time so uh, i hope through these uh, stages refugees can be recognized as refugee but many cases eh? even they have fear about going back to their country but they are rejected so they are hopeless eh? uh, but i encourage them to have hope eh? because final decision is from god eh? so even uh, all the person who finished all the process uh, the we are continuously working together to find the solution for example applying to another country protection uh, applying again if the situation is changed uh, applying asylum again eh, mm. in Korea uh, if the situation is changed so applying again or well, while we are struggling uh, God provided us another chance what we cannot imagine so that's our hope Okay, and um, please, can you tell us how many countries in Africa you know and you have been in Africa? Oh, I have been... And after that, your impression after being there? Yes, I have been around seven countries. Uh, the first country I stepped in Africa is... Egypt and uh, uh, Ethiopia and Uganda, uh, Congo and uh, Nigeria, uh, Ghana, uh, and I have passed through uh, Togo, Benin. Uh, and the most impressive country for me is. Congo. Democratic. <laughs> Democratic Republic of Congo. Yeah. When you was there, how was the people? Congolese <laughs> so, people. Okay. From Kinshasa. Uh, their situation, economic situation, or their political situation was uh, not so uh, hopeful as they were. When I visit there, there was a big clash in Kinshasa uh, uh, just before the presidential election, 2006, around uh august uh, uh, july july mm. uh, so it was 
I, I visited uh, 2006 June, uh, just before the mm. presidential election mm. between Joseph Kabila and Zhang Bel Bemba. So there was a bombing eh, in Kinshasa. So the political situation is not so good, but the mentality of the Congo people, they are very joyful. They are very hopeful. Eh? Uh, they were very happy. Eh? <laughs> so when they are standing in some place, they are standing like this way. They are standing like this way. Relax, so relax. it was very <laughs> impressive to me. If we have hope, if we have joy, I think the future will be joyful and the future will be hopeful. Uh, that's my feeling. And another country, I do not want to name the country, but uh, when I was there, uh, almost all the people was very, very gloomy, gloomy. They are walking like this way. They do not smile. As they were very much depressed. So I feel some uh, pity and I'm sorry uh, to see the people uh, to live in a such kind of gloomy uh, atmosphere. And other Western African countries, uh, there was very, I can feel a kind of terror. I can feel a kind of uh, uh, fear. Huh? Yeah. So they are uh, almost all people. They are in fear, and there is there was not any uh, social security. Everybody was fearing about their safety. So it was very uh, sorry uh, for me to see such kind of situation. situation. Mm. Yeah. As a human rights defender or a justice man, mm -hmm. this is how you are, and as a Christian. After traveling to those African countries, do you think there is democracy? Because justice means democracy also. Mm. Do you think those countries have democracy? Oh, that's the problem. Almost all country, uh, they do not have democracy. And they are very much suffering because of the dictatorship, because of the power abused power and because of the conflict and violation. So it's not democracy, it's the rule of power, By eh? force. Uh, rule of force. Eh? So we have to recover the rule of law and rule of love. Uh, I don't think that uh, there is not, there is democracy and so we have to serve more uh, Africans to recover the democracy. In 2011, I mean, Congolese had uh, demonstrations in Korea to express what happened uh, during the elections or happened in, in Congo. Uh, what was your feeling? It mean, uh, you think that people are fighting for the democracy because Doing this, de uh, uh, doing this demonstrations means there is no democracy. It's ruling by force. What was your impressions? Mm, Congo community uh, in South Korea, they are very active. Eh? So I, my feeling, they have very uh, strong uh, community in Kong in Korea, Congolese community, and other countries also. They have also their own refugee background, people's community. Yes, of course. So they are very active. But uh, I think uh, the refugee community or Congolese or other country uh, people, uh, they have to show more often né, their political opinion and their opinion uh, toward the con their own country, the origin country. So it was my first experience to see uh, and to participate in such kind of demonstration. But I think it was almost once in Korea. Yes. So I think uh, we have to do more. Mm. Do, do you think uh, the Korean law can, uh, can also keep giving this freedom to foreigners? or to refugees to, to demonstrate what they are feeling about the political situation in their origin countries? In Korea, mm -hmm. 
is free. Foreigners can freely show their political opinion eh, uh, toward their own country, but it is prohibited. Foreigners uh, do the political activity against Korean policy. Eh? Yeah. It is, it is, they are not allowed to intervene Korean uh, uh, policy, policy. Eh, but they are free eh, to do. To do for their country for their country yeah mm. because that day uh, some korean says ah oh, this is not uh, uh us or belgium to to upraise to show your demonstration you have to go to the, the, the continent to let them know mm. so we can express our yeah, political I'm, opinion you are free in also. any place in any time uh, so they yeah i have another question is quite special also According to kids who are born in Korea from refugee couples, and then when they are born, they are like without a nation because the parents are here as a refugee, and Korea also don't give to the one who are born here the nationality. How can you express this kind of situation? Because they are like people without a nation. Yeah. The the kids, the children of the refugees and refugee applicants are becoming, uh, becoming stateless. Uh, so that's the problems. We are uh, studying about that problem and we are discussing about that. Until now, we don't have any birth registration system in Korea for foreigners. Eh? So the foreigners can register their birth their own embassy but refugees and asylum seekers cannot register the birth to their yeah, own embassy. embassy so they became stateless yeah and we are uh, struggling and we are suggesting Korean government to prepare the registration system uh, for the children uh, who don't have any place to register their birth uh, so that's the problem but we uh, do not have any solution yet, but we are uh, doing our best to uh, fill the gap. According to what uh, director adjective of Pinan, Mr. Lane, Mr. Abraham, sorry, and all Pinan members are doing to support uh, migrant worker refugees in South Korea. What will be your message or your advice to them by now and to Congolese especially who are living here and who are watching this video? Yeah. Refugees are not the person who are poor or who only need help. Temporarily because they are lost their foundation they temporarily need some help but refugees are not only the person who need help but refugees are the person who are called for special, special mission, mission eh? so i think refugees are the missionary eh? so we have to have we have to see refugees uh, as the person who have special contribution to the society or to the world. Uh, we have to support them. Uh, we have to invest them uh, because they are very special. Refugees, yourself, have not to consider yourself as a person who need, need, who need help, help. Mm. who are the burden. Mm. Uh, refugees, you should identify yourself as the person who have to serve others eh? and also we have to support refugees not because they are poor but because eh? they have to prepare themselves for the future eh? and prepare themselves or discipline themselves for their special mission so that's my message to Korean people and my staff and refugees uh, can you please 
tell how people can contact Pinan and how Pinan is organized to receive those who want, who will want to come to Pinan. Which kind of help they will get, which kind of uh, support they will ha get in Pinan. Nah. <clears throat> we have our website, uh, Pinan, P N A N dot O R G. Pinan. Mm. So you can find all our information from our website, Pinan, P N A N dot O R G. We are located in Seoul, uh, around Doryangjin. Uh, so uh, you can freely visit our uh, office. Our main uh, activity is supporting refugee, asylum seekers to get refugee status. We are doing. Uh, we are supporting the legal aid, eh? legal aid, and also we are uh, giving the place to stay, the shelter, mm -hmm. uh, not big, uh, the kind of temporary uh, place to stay, but. We are running the place accommodation, and also we are uh, every weekend we are doing such uh, some uh, various kind of education uh, program for adult refugees and refugee kids. Uh, we have some education uh, program uh, every weekend, and also uh we do various kind of campaigns for our refugees and for the people to know uh who the refugees are and the advocacy uh, against the korean uh, government to develop the refugee system yeah that's all mm. but i wanted to ask the next if you can tell this uh last information according what mr Director Executive of Pinan is doing and the, the support of all the staffs of Pinan NGO are doing for refugees in Korea in Nangumar. So uh -huh. Korean people will just uh -huh. get to get the information can also get the news. Uh, uh. 사단법인 피난처는 uh, <웃음> 한국에 있는 그약 6천 명 가량의 난민 신청자들이 에, 난민 지위를 얻을 수 있도록 법률 지원, 그리고 생활 지원, 그리고 숙소를 제공하는 아, 그런 어, 일을 하는 어, 난민 지원 어, 단체입니다. 아, 저희는 그 피난, pnan.org 그런 어, 웹사이트를 운영하고 있으니까 거기 보시면 여러 가지 정보들이 있고요. 아, 저희는 난민들이 단지 가난하거나 도움이 필요한 사람들, 불쌍하니까 도와줘야 될 사람들이라고 어, 보지 않습니다. 아, 이분들은 어, 비록 일시적으로 어, 자기가 살던 나라를 어, 정치적인 박해, 에, 전쟁 이런 것 때문에 떠날 수밖에 없는 에, 상황이고 어, 이 에, 다른 나라 한국 낯선 땅 한국의 외국인으로 나와 있기 때문에 에, 일시적인 도움이 필요한 것은 사실이지만 이러한 에, 어려움 중에 에, 부름받아서 특별한 어, 사명을 위해서 미래를 위해서 준비하고 있는 어, 굉장히 어, 유능하고 또 용감하고 또 앞으로 어, 역할이 있는 그런 사람들입니다. 그래서 이분들이 한국에 머무르는 동안 어, 생존의 문제로 너무 어, 허덕이지 말고 어, 미래를 준비할 수 있도록 그래서 앞으로 다른 사람들을 섬기고 또 조국을 섬길 수 있도록 아, 그렇게 우리가 이분들을 잘 아, 서포트 해드려야 될 거라고 생각합니다. 이거는 단지 구제가 아니라 앞으로 미래를 위해서 우리가 함께 잘 사는 아, 그런 나라, 특별히 고통 중에 있는 아, 그런 나라를 우리가 아, 돕는 그런 일꾼을 아, 기르는 귀하고 값진 투자라고 생각합니다. 그래서 난민들을 불쌍한 사람들 돕는 그런 차원에서가 아니라 앞으로 어, 다른 어려운 사람들을 위해서 어, 일할 일꾼을 또 어려움 중에 있는 그 자기들의 조국을 위해서 어, 일할 수 있는 귀한 리더로 어, 이렇게 에, 한국에 머무르는 동안 준비할 수 있도록 이렇게 서포트하고 어, 투자하는 
그러한 마음으로 난민들을 섬겨 주셨으면 좋겠습니다. 감사합니다. Uh, we, we, we are going to finish our interview. Uh, which question you are thinking I can ask you, but I didn't ask? Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, okay. Okay. So, refugees themselves role. Huh? Mm-hmm. Refugee themselves role. role. Huh? The refugee themselves identify mm. themselves. Eh? Eh? So I think it's very important. Eh? So you can express eh. to us eh. the refugee role. Eh. So uh, we only are considering about what Korean government, we'll do what us. Korean society, mm. what Korean people mm. have to do and uh, uh, what kind of refugee ri- right we have. Mm. Okay, it's good. Uh, uh, we have to serve refugees. We ha- they are they enjoy their right. But yeah. more important thing, what refugee themselves we'll have to think uh, or have to focus on is what they have to do, what they can do. Huh? Mm. Uh, so I think if refugees are ready, even they are in difficult situation. If they are ready or they are eager to serve Korean society eh? with their talents, uh, with their energy, Energy. Mm -hmm. with their culture, if they are ready to serve Korean society and Korean people because they are staying here, maybe Korean people will be very happy and welcome them. But if uh, refugees are only expecting some help from Korean society, maybe uh, Korean society and Korean people will be somewhat tired. Eh? Yeah. So, uh, and we'll have some enmity against uh, the refugees. refugees. So I encourage uh, refugees, even I understand they are in difficult situation and they are foreigners. So we have to uh, support them, but if they are ready to support us, maybe the more the voluntary more support will come, come from Korean society. Yes. Mm-hmm. So can you tell something about uh, our website, mm-hmm. Azibiling, mm-hmm. to help us to understand? Can you mm-hmm. tell them something? So I'm very happy uh, because Azibilenge.com website is open in South Korea because it's refugee oriented refugee initiated uh, website in South Korea Uh, I want to encourage them to keep going and to prosper Uh, and many people visit that asibilenge.com the meaning of asibilenge is asia joy yeah asia joy if we even in our, our situation is even our situation is difficult terrible if we are joyful eh? in jesus maybe the surely uh, the joyful uh, future will come soon okay come some the director executive to receive us in your office merci beaucoup today merci beaucoup merci beaucoup c'est votre reporter Bianpi Freddy, celui qui vous donne les nouvelles de l'Asie, de la Corée du Sud en particulier, et vous en aurez plus encore. Le numéro de téléphone vont passer et vous allez le voir. S'il y a des questions à poser, appelle, appelle-moi et posez vos questions. Et s'il y a des suggestions, parce que nous avons besoin de vos suggestions. Pour améliorer notre travail, nous en aurons besoin. Appelle-nous sur le numéro, mon numéro qui apparaît là-bas dessus. Et celui qui était dans le contrôle, derrière la, la caméra, le making of, l'ingénieur, Freddy, Lomboto, l'informatique, c'est entre ses doigts. Et les images, ce n'est pas son problème. De ce qu'il connaît, c'est le travail qui se trouve dans sa mémoire. Donc, être filmé par lui, les images garanties. Son numéro, le numéro de notre website, 
sera aussi en bas. Après, lui peut avoir beaucoup plus d'informations à ce qui concerne les émissions, à ce qui concerne le website, à ce qui concerne le fonctionnement du website d'ici la Corée du Sud. Merci et à prochain élément. Bye.